back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest is a very beautiful actress. She stars in The League, which airs Thursdays on uh, FX. Please welcome the lovely Katie Asselton, everybody. Katie Asselton. I'm not wearing your leather pants. I thought you'd be with me on this. Uh, no, you look fantastic. I just noticed when you came out, your leather trousers. I was like, whoa. You know. Someone's got a motorcycle. I heard Regis was on the show, and I wanted to turn it up a little. Yeah, you got it when Regis is around. Are you a fan of Regis? I am a massively huge fan of Regis. Are you, are you messing with me? I am not at all. I have to tell you, I have had like this, I don't want to say fantasy, but it's a little bit of a fantasy. Okay. That I would throw a birthday party and that Regis and Pat Sajak would come. And I don't know why. I don't know why, but I just think it would be a really interesting party. And then someone told me that Pat used to have a show on the stage and that Regis was going to be you, here No, you messing with me. I am so not Really? Is that true? At all. Yeah. Wow. You know, I think what we, we have not had, and we should remedy this, we have not had Pat Sajak here. But you know, there's a chair sitting right. Well, here. he's he's not in the building. He's uh, he, he leaves right after Wheel of Fortune. He goes home. Uh, <laughs> if you have him on the show, you have to bring me back. Well, yes, I will. Well, let's just see how you do. Okay. Uh, All right. I will audition for that opportunity. No, you don't have to audition. Oh, I've got something gross in my leg. That is disgusting. Yeah, what's that? I think that's a booger. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, that's. No, you know what that is? That's mm. part of a lady apple. That. <laughs> Did it is. No, I can do forensic testing. Look, the. Uh, well, no, he took it with him. It was a <laughs> Well, it's part of a lady apple on my leg. I know my own boogers. Mm. All right, if it, if this is a. Oh. Oh, you know, <laughs> booger. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a lady apple. Do you enjoy lady apples? Um, I I eat my lady apples every day. That's what they tell me, right? keeps all the weird doctors away. <laughs> I do like your leather trousers. Do you, you. do you find that they, uh, they, I used to wear leather trousers in the 80s and I found did that you they- really? Yeah, well, you know, I was back then. I was, okay. like, I was thinner. And, um, you know, the, I found that the, there was quite a lot of heat build up. Um, not yet because it's frigidly cold in here. Right, right. That's um, cool. but I'll that way for know. weeks now. Uh, um, I know. Um, <laughs> but I kind of dig them. Yeah, no, they're really nice. They give you, like, a kind of fun confidence. Like, no one can really mess with me because I'm wearing leather pants. That's right. And uh, do you ride a motorcycle? I don't, but I might after this. Well, you can't, you can't just decide you might and then just go and ride one. You have to, you know, be no, responsible. I'm just going to do it. Do you have children? Yeah. Well, you know. I'm just going to get a little seat for them on the back. <laughs> I'll get a sidecar because I've got two. All right, yeah. And um, we're just going to hit the road. What, what age are your kids? I have a four-year-old, almost five-year-old, and a six-month-old. Oh, man. This is the most sleep you've had in a long this time is, right now. This is doing the this. most rested yeah. I will be. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of work. It's I, I, I have uh, young children, too. Well, one of, one of my kids is young. I have two. And uh, they... Uh, yeah, they, 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 um, they're unreasonable. They're little time sets, they're aren't they? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're like uh, boys, girls? What? I have two girls. Oh, I have two boys. Really? Oh, this is going to work out really well. Whoa, oh, Shakespearean play coming. Yeah. Um, yeah, they just, they don't quite understand that things have to happen during the day. And so they... What things are we talking about? Just life for me in general, yeah, 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 you yeah, know? And yeah. so they like to, you know, require my attention at three and four in the morning. Yeah, no, I get a lot of that too. Luckily, I'm just getting home from work here, uh, right about that. Yeah, because it, I mean, it is so late right now. It's very late right now in your region. Uh, <laughs> where are you from originally? Maine. Maine? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's lovely there. Do you enjoy crabs? I... <laughs> Does anyone really, truly enjoy? Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've had crabs and. Uh, and you love when you get crabs. Well, you know it's Look, a sensation. Look, if you get them from the right forget. place, if you get them from the right place, it's a great experience. I actually don't like crabs. I don't like I don't like eating crabs. I, I I'm almost okay with lobster, but not really. Really? Uh, yeah. Do you like lobster? Well, here's the thing. I do. I do, but I hate the experience because I hate the way your hands smell afterwards. Oh, I hate really? Feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so intense, and like your fingers get all cut up because I really get in there. Well, why don't you get? Yeah, I mean, you're making a little money now on the show. You get someone to uh, crack your lobster you for you. Not get someone to crack your lobster. Sure, you can. Get an intern to do it. No, 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 no. no. I'm not bringing an intern to Maine with me. 
Why not? Because there's very few people in Maine. To get stuck with an intern in Maine cracking your lobster is not my idea of a vacation. Here's what I think, though. Uh, if you live in Maine and you grew up in Maine and then you move to Los Angeles, California, I mean, California is a beautiful state, one of the more beautiful states in the union, but I look forward to your letters, but the, uh, but the town of Los Angeles is Lingonberry. It I mean, is. really, it is. It is. Yeah, I mean, so uh, isn't it a terrible shock to live here? Don't you worry about your kids breathing in the smog and stuff? Because I know what I do. Yeah. I worry about your kids, strangely, not my own. No, really? That's so thoughtful of you. I do, I do, but we go back to Maine a lot, and I find, you know, when you grow up in a super small town, you don't always get exposed to the great things that you can get exposed to in a big city. So that's kind of great. What, 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 I'm what trying things? to look at the positive. No, I think that's you good. Are you, are, do you, are you an optimistic person? Are you? I try to be. Yeah, I you think know, that helps. I'm a skeptical optimist. Skeptical optimist? Sure. <laughs> is, that, is that like some kind of weird Protestant? <laughs> I'm definitely going to go to heaven for it. No, you'll be fine. I think. Listen, we're out of time. Do you want some fruit apart from a lady apple? I think we're out. Um, I, I, if you have anything other than a lady apple, I will. All right, uh, let's right see. I, I got a got a coconut here. I got a giant green. Whoa, look at this. Sucker. Nice melon. Wow, thanks very much. And I've also got fruit. Uh, the. Uh... <laughs> Get it, guys? Yeah, yeah. Get it was, you know, I was doing a thing, a, a sex thing. This is a, a pomelo. What are you doing? Uh, you bowling, I think. But look at it. The uh, you got a, you got your kiwi fruits right I like there. Some kiwis? Yeah, I like. To, you know what? I got to say about kiwi fruit though. It is the most. Uh, uh, in labor intensive of all fruits. Or the mango? The mango, no, the mango's all right. The mango's tricky too, though. Yeah, but you get an intern to do the mango. The kiwi fruit, you gotta do it yourself. You don't want your intern statue of kiwis? <laughs> Strangely, that's how they get to be interns. Uh, it's for a college credit. Uh, so, how about this? Uh, uh, midget do I bananas? Get them all? Yeah, sure, if you want. That's a lot of midget bananas. Uh, I think, sorry, we, I think we say little, little person bananas. Uh, li that's a lot of little person bananas. That, well, that's the thing, though. Uh, you've got children, it's and they will you put them in their little lunch boxes. I will, I'm going to go for that. Okay. Because I think it can kind of also go with my outfit as like... Yeah, now you're talking. Like now you're talking. All right, say goodnight to the folks. We'll be right back. We'll be right back, everybody. I, I you know... I admit, I'm a little anal. Which brings us back to Rick Santorum. Santorum, all right. Uh, all right, on you go. No. Now, uh, I don't know much about Rick Santorum, really. I know that well, he's got some very, he's very, very, uh, hugely conservative, right? Oh, my God. This guy thinks about gay sex more than Richard Simmons. <laughs> this, yeah. But may, maybe about the same. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I don't think anyone could think about gay sex more. <laughs> you would know. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm not going to argue that point.